Hello everyone, today I will be showing you all the top 10 best ways to piss off car guys in GTA Online. Now some of these are achievable by the player but some aren't. Some are just bad AI or Rockstar's fault or you'll see what I mean once we get more into the video but hopefully you all enjoy this one. It's a good one. Really hope you guys appreciate the video and subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. Now this first way is achieved by the player and by the way this is not in any particular order they're just you know one to one through ten no particular order. This is when you get in a car a fresh car it is not damaged at all and your friend shoots out the window with his gun. This is this used to make me really mad like to the point where I would unfriend someone if they did this I don't know why it was really stupid uh, I was much younger back then so maybe I was just a bit childish but honestly this still makes me pretty mad now because why do it if you have no reason to do it if you're not getting shot at like if you're getting chased by the cops and you have to shoot back i guess but just call lester you know but your car is going to get shot by the cops either way if you do that so really you just shouldn't shoot the car unless you really really have to even worse is the windshield because the windshield you cannot fix if you shoot the driver's side window or the passenger side window um, you could stick your middle finger out in the unarmed, like it's the little fist when you're in a car and it will clean up the glass. So that way it's not cracked anymore and it's all good. So don't do this ever. Something that really irks me as a car guy, or at least it used to before I started making videos on GTA is when people, my friends particularly would copy my cars. Like I had a friend, I had the Nero, the Nero custom, and I made it look like the real life Bugatti, you know, with the, uh, it was like an ultra blue secondary and a blue, uh, primary. So it looked like, you know, like the, the classic Bugatti colors that we see in real life. And he did the exact same thing, the same livery, the same wheels, the same color, every, he must've took a screenshot or something. I don't know how he did it. And like, just don't like if, if you see it on YouTube or something and like you don't think you will see that YouTuber, don't do it to me because I play GTA Online pretty often and I will see your cars. Oh, but I'm just kidding. You can copy my cars if you want. But your friend, you will be seeing that car pretty often. But if you copy a YouTuber's car, obviously you're not going to get in a game with them very often unless they are your friend and you play together a lot. I don't know. But this still makes me mad till this day because just be creative. There are so many colors and combinations and pearlescence and wheels so many combinations you can do to your car to stand out and to copy someone else i don't know like unless you your friends are trying to go for like a you know both of you guys have the same color on your car but it's a different car i get that because you know you're just trying to blend in with your friend that's pretty cool but when it's the exact same car and you're not trying to do that and you copy the same color same wheels everything it just makes me a little bit mad uh, once again, I'm not going to get mad at this if I see it in free mode because, you know, I make YouTube videos, people see my videos. Um, I've only had a few people in free mode recognize me ac actually, but not a lot of people check the player list in the lobby. So I'm not sure if everyone um, I've encountered like hasn't been a viewer, but regardless, just don't copy car colors or anything you see on other people's cars, particularly your friends, because you will be around that car pretty often. But if it's on YouTube, go right ahead because there are actually videos for it. Another thing that irks me as a car guy, me particularly, I hate when people put exempt plates on their car. People, listen, if your car is not meant to be an official government vehicle, it's not owned by the city, by the government, it's not a cop car, it's not an unmarked or anything, don't put an exempt plate on. If you're in an unmarked, you should actually put a regular plate because if you're in an unmarked, um, some cops in real life, some states actually let you uh, wear a normal plate because the exempt plate would give away that you're an undercover cop, even though who else drives Crown Vicks with steelies? I don't know, but I'm just saying. In GTA Online, I get that it makes your car look cleaner because, you know, there's no expiration date, there's no month or anything. It does look cleaner, I will agree, but unless it's like a show car or something, like if you drive it around all the time, take it off, please. It just makes me mad, but at the end of the day, it is your car. You can do whatever you like, and you don't have to listen to me at all, but this makes me particularly very mad because, I don't know, there's like just please keep a normal plate on you could change the the text or anything but just don't put exempt plate please unless it is a cop car an official government vehicle something like that this next one doesn't happen too often but when it does i do get pretty mad it's when i'm just driving around chilling in my like regular car it's not a night shark or an insurgent or anything here i'm driving around in my sentinel i approach this dude and actually he doesn't kill me but someone out of nowhere just shoots a missile at me and i get blown up this discourages me to drive regular cars because I get blown up in them. If I don't want to get blown up, I'm just going to drive around my Night Shark or my Insurgent. 
and those are just not as fun to drive as my enthusiast cars so please people if you see anyone driving enthusiast cars in free mode and they're just chilling don't shoot them don't blow them up please i know it's our first natural instinct as gca online players i get it but just don't do it let them chill in their car and just let them enjoy their car because they're going to resort to an oppressor mark ii or a raiju or something more boring like that and it's no fun for anyone it's not fun for you it's not fun for them this next one unfortunately happens very often it is when npcs blatantly try to crash into you to make you like damage your car or crash if you're on a motorcycle you will die uh and it's just very annoying because it's so obvious that they are programmed to do this newer players of gta online probably will not catch on to this very quickly but as someone who has played for a very long time nearly a decade now i can recognize their patterns what they will do and i'm prepared for it and most of the time it doesn't happen these clips are actually me like trying to get his to demonstrate it but i'm sure all you guys have seen it already and it's just stupid and annoying I don't know people have their theories that like it's supposed to make you buy a shark card because when your car gets damaged and you don't have money it will make you buy a shark card to repair the car but you could just request it back to storage so i'm not too sure what's up with that i don't know maybe it's right maybe it's wrong but i hate this another thing that makes me mad as a car guy especially is when people have a garage and the theme is the same throughout the whole garage all their cars are white with benny's wheels and with white wheels and pure tint and everything like guys please have some variation in your garages it's just more pleasing to the eye to see more colors and more variety whenever i see garages and they're all like red or blue or white i'm just like are you trying to be uncle sam what's going on here i'm not too sure like please have some variety it's just more interesting for your garage i guess if you don't drive the cars very often no one will ever notice unless they're in your garage because i mean they're not in your garage to see that all cars are the same color um but if you have friends around in your garage a lot just switch up the colors and it'll make your garage look a lot better and overall it will give your garage more persona because it's not just one car with the same color the same upgrades same everything there is actually variety and there are so much colors and combinations like i said earlier like truly i think i very rarely repeat colors i only repeat the colors i really like because obviously i really like them but if I wanted to, I could have all of my like 200 some cars, different colors, different combinations, and they would all look good. So please, people, make your cars different colors in your garages, at least. And that would be great because it gives your garage more variety. This next one especially makes me mad. I feel like I've said that for every one of these, but it's true. This next one is very annoying. It is when Rockstar releases almost a flawless vehicle. Here I have the Buffalo STX highly anticipated vehicle to come out i think is arguably the most anticipated vehicle to release aside from the gauntlet hellfire which is the dodge challenger this is the charger and this was highly anticipated because everyone was like well i want a wide body hellcat i want a wide body scat and they never gave us a wide body option this car was nearly perfect aside from the back the back is horrendous so it looks nothing like the real life version there is an aftermarket taillight that looks similar but I don't like how that tail light looks regardless. So they messed up the back really bad. But this car could have done so much better if it had a wide body option. I mean, the Hellfire comes stock with a wide body option. If this one came stock with a wide body option, I would probably choose that one. But I do like the narrow body because you see so little narrow body Hellcats in real life. All of them are wide bodies and it is nice to see a narrow body. But let us have the option because it's just annoying that this was such a highly anticipated car everyone thought it'd be able to get a wide body upgrade but it didn't and unfortunately we might never see that but you never know rockstar if they wanted to could release a wide body option in the future but it's just not looking like it so far and if they ever release a trackhawk or anything they better do it right because if they don't the community will go up in flames they'll be pissed and rockstar probably will lose like a bunch of money this next one is very near and dear to my heart it is the fact that people think to have a fun car in gta online it must be fast and it must have hsw and crazy mods on it and like it just doesn't here i have the masakro the masakro is such a perfect car even in 2023 a decade after gta online came out it is still a nice car to drive around it's decently fast it handles fantastically it looks great it doesn't really need any more mods than it already has Plus, there was a race car version that actually got cancelled once they removed the 180-some cars. You can still get it through other means, but you can't buy it on the website anymore. And I love the Masakro. I think the Masakro was such an underrated car. More people really need to get into it. If you don't have a Masakro, please add one to your collection. Um, I actually think it is off sale, so you will have to wait until it gets into Simeons or Luxury Autos. But once it does, pick it up. It's extremely cheap. It was like 250000 I believe 
or maybe 235 and it is such a fun car if you've been watching me for a while you will understand what i mean when i say fast does not equal fun this goes for real life as well obviously people throw crazy turbos on their miatas and everything but the miata is loved because of its characteristics and its pep what the little it has and its looks it looks so stupid everyone loves it but it's not fast but people still like it because it's a miata same goes for gta online a good car does not have to be fast it just has to be fun and if it is fun then get it because people probably aren't driving it anyways if it isn't fast and i truly think this is probably the most underrated topic in gta online at the moment that more people need to understand especially car guys this next one personally does not bother me too much but it really bothers some people i've met some people and they're like what the hell it is when you put the right build on the wrong car so here i have a bmw m2 in the game it is known as the cypher and i have the livery from the bmw m3 gtr from need for speed the famous m3 gtr everyone knows it it's even if you don't play video games or anything your grandpa your dad they probably know how this car looks because it's just famous however like i just said this is on a car that's based off of the bmw m2 a modern m2 for that fact not the most recent m2 but the generation just before this one and that will really piss off a lot of people because they're like why are you throwing the wrong livery on the wrong car and well the right livery on the wrong car a lot of people are just really mad about this personally once again i don't really care you could throw whatever livery on whatever car you want because at the end of the day it is your car and your money so do what you want and this is probably the most famous example of this because i see this build on this cypher so many times like in free mode out of every 10 free mode sessions i get into i'll probably see at least like two of these and it's kind of weird because i'm like that's not the car it's supposed to be on but it still looks good so i don't know if it still makes the car look good in your opinion then just rock with it but prepare for some hate i know i said this video is not in any particular order but this is the number one if there was an order this is number one the cardinal sin of being a car guy do not rice out your car i know i just said you know it's your money it's your car do what you want but please don't make it incredibly ugly like if you think it looks nice then that's cool but if you can argue from someone else's position that it looks ugly then you probably shouldn't have it but just please don't make your car look horrible here i, I threw on some horrible rims and some uh, uh, fluorescent blue i have a yellow livery on it and the car is pink the interior is green just please do not do this to your car please make it look just good i mean it doesn't have to look perfect once again it's your money it's your car do what you want but if it looks like this come on this doesn't look good to anyone a blind man could look at this car and say it's ugly like once it gets to that point just don't do it and if you do do it make sure to install a detonator bomb on the car call it up and blow up the car immediately because it will get blown up regardless so you may as well do it yourself also something else that pisses me off as a car guy is driving straight into gas pumps and that is it everyone the top 10 best ways to piss off a car guy in gta online i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you go piss off your car guy friends maybe don't do this to randoms because some of these are pretty bad like i said and you shouldn't do them to randoms but it is what it is if you want to go ahead and at the end of the day always remember it's your money it's your car you can do what you want and i of course hope you guys have a good day evening wherever you're from i've been getting viewers from crazy parts someone on xbox messaged me they said they were from germany like that is crazy being from germany i'm in california it's just a blessing you guys i really appreciate it. wherever you are from thank you for supporting me thank you for clicking on this video and goodbye